As global tensions over Chinese military drills around Taiwan continue to spike, the relations between world superpowers United States and China worsen further. In the latest, China has decided to end cooperation with United States on several important issues. China's discontent over U.S. leader Nancy Pelosi's Taiwan visit triggered huge military drills around Taiwan, which came after repeated warnings by Beijing against the same. And now Chinese Foreign Ministry has hit out at U.S. suspending talks with cooperations. These suspensions include agreements on climate change as well. Remember, China and U.S. had pledged to work together to accelerate policies to tackle climate crisis. However, now the fate of the deal seems uncertain. The National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby has criticized this move as quote-unquote fundamentally irresponsible. White House also confirmed that Washington had summed the Chinese ambassador to U.S. to condemn the quote-unquote irresponsible behavior of Beijing over Taiwan. As we're talking about the demarch, uh, after China's action, we summoned a PRC ambassador uh, to the White House on Thursday to demarch him about the PRC's pro pro provocative actions. We condemned the, the PRC's military actions, which are irresponsible again, at odds with our longstanding goal of maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. We made clear to the ambassador that Beijing's actions are of concern to Taiwan to us and to our partners around the world. Meanwhile, China has announced that its military drills around Taiwan will continue till Sunday. Taiwan reported that 68 Chinese planes and 13 warships crossed the median line that runs down the Taiwan Strait. Taiwan's defense ministry said in the latest statement, and I quote, We condemn the communist military for deliberately crossing the median line of the strait and harassing the sea and air around Taiwan. Speaking to the press in Taipei, the Taiwanese Premier called Beijing their evil neighbor. China is an evil neighbor, showing its military power at the gate of our country, using military exercises to destroy the busiest lanes of international shipping. China's action has received condemnation from neighboring countries and the world. We call on China to take care of the people with a full heart, because that is the most important thing. Taiwan's defense ministry also informed that it had fired flares late on Friday to warn off seven drones flying over its outlying Kinmen Islands and to warn unidentified aircraft flying over its outlying Matsu Islands. Adding to that, the ministry said that the troops were on high alert on both of these areas.